Okay, so I took the uh, lock plate off. It's just two 3 16 Allens, and then the lock plate comes off. Then we're going to take the sprocket nut. This is the front drive sprocket. What we have on here is our Jim's sprocket locker. Jim's USA, that's where I'm at in this world. Um, if uh, you go to their website, they don't list prices because... Yeah, you'll get frickin' sticker shock. So, the part number for this big twin um, sprocket locker is Jim's 2259-2BT. And this is another Jim's tool. This is your sprocket removal tool. On here is the two hash marks. For the 40, 45 degree, I'll show you what those are used for and here when we go back together. The part number on this is a 91660-37A alpha. So you have a little guide, little guide tool. You don't have to use it, but they supply it, so just use it. Okay, um, apologize for the noise. This tool till we reassemble. Be right back. My wife always laughs because I come out here and work with my flip flops on. So then we'll take off the guide. That's your sprocket nut. That's held on there with red Loctite. That's why it's kind of a pain to get off. Red Loctite only comes off two ways with extreme pressure and or heat. If you use a heavy duty gun, you'll come off with no issues. If you're gonna use something small um, and not very good quality, you're gonna need heat. Oh, I don't see any sign of leak at all, but we're here, so we're going to replace the seals. Um, stand by one second. Prepared. I'm used to just doing not. So, this is your inner primary spacer. Before I'm done, I'll probably take uh, some really fine steel wool, clean this up. What I'm feeling for is any grooves. If I feel grooves in it, it tells me that it probably spun at one time, which means it hung up. I feel nothing, so we're good there. A lot of people overlook this. This little quad seal right here. Okay. This is a must. One time use, replace it. That goes. So if you're wondering when you're going back together, how does this go back? See the bevel and flat. 
So the quad seal is gonna go inside here. It's what it's designed for. All right, so now comes the fun part. I always hated doing this, still hate it to this day. Not hate, just not one of my favorite things to do. I've never done it, but I've seen it happen. Somebody prying one of these out, got a handful of case. I have this little tub here because a lot of times some fluid will drool out. As you can see, right now, fluid is already drooling out slightly. I think you can. Let me see. You see trans fluid leaking out, so that's totally normal. Don't panic. Probably should have drained it before I embarked on this, but I think I'm going to do a 10,000-mile service when we're done with this anyway, so... So anyway, like I was saying, I've seen guys reach too deep with these. As you can tell, it's real easy to get too far. I saw one guy one time do that, and he grabbed a handful of the inner, inner case right here and kept prying, kept prying. And... Uh, Bink, he broke the train case. And no, it was not me. If it was me, I would admit it, but it was not me because I was taught the right way to do 99% of this stuff. Like I said, a lot over the years of doing this, I've discovered my own way on some things, but majority of what I do, I do the way I was taught. So, I'm going to take the clean side of this. Just kind of stuff it in here for now. Because I realized I don't have the parts. So, order parts is Ronnie Harley Davidson Microfish. Go to Ronnie Harley Davidson Microfish.com. And if the part is available, they will be able to tell you. And then you just find it from there or you can order it from them and they'll charge you shipping to ship it. But a lot of times I just make part lists, go to my local Harley or I'll call around and make sure they have the parts I need and then go from there.